we've had a great time up in the hills and in the open fields. I mean, we we've, we've really had a what well, we had about five or six good races up there. Mike's just too fast for us, dog. <laughs> but you know, we're down here in this big creek uh, swamp. It's hardwoods. They've just been thin. This will be a different look, Ali. Yes, and we'll be chasing a different type of game down here to what we have up in the hills. We have the cottontail rabbits up there, and down here we'll try to chase the swamp rabbits, or some people call them cane cutter rabbits, and they're a large rabbit about the size of some of these beagles, and we hope to have yeah. a good chase or two on those this afternoon. Yeah, all right, well, how many yeah, dogs are we gonna let out down here? We'll run about eight or nine okay. in the swamps down here. This looks good, down kind of territory for me. Got a few trees down, left them on the ground. Brent Camp, my great friend from my old Auburn days, has joined us. Brent's with VMS Wild Game Products. He's an old-time rabbit hunter. Their little rabbits are born in litters, and they, they dig a little burrow. They put the fur in the burrow, and the, the little rabbits are born without any fur on them, and their eyes closed. They're naked when they're born. That's right. And a, but a swamp rabbit, they, their little ones are come here with, with the fur already on them and their eyes open. And, and they don't put them in a burrow. They just have them next to a rotten stump or somewhere like that. Is that right? That's right. How many does a rabbit normally have in their litter? Well, the swamp rabbit, usually about four. That they're a larger rabbit, but they have fewer little ones. What about a cottontail? Well, a cottontail could have anywhere from uh, four to eight little ones in a litter, and sometimes maybe more than that, but usually from four to eight. How many litters they have a year? Well, uh, a cottontail will have one litter every 30 days during their breeding season, and uh, sometimes it could be as high as uh, four to five litters in a year. Good gracious. If he has five letters of eight, he's multiplying by 40 every right. year. That's right, but you have so many predators, that's the reason why you don't have very many of them to survive. Yeah, you see. okay. They're coming your way, Brent. The fun part of rabbit hunting is the dog work, the companionship, and also eating the rabbits. What a day. What a fun day. To be with people like Mike and Brent Camp and Tim and Ali, Chester, all the other guys. Don't shoot, don't shoot. We could have almost caught him. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this rabbit off. Here he comes. There he is. Right up there. I see the rabbit. I got it. Cedar Creek Lodge. One of the beautiful lodges in the state of Alabama. Some of the biggest deer you'll find anywhere. Also, if you'd like to order a pup for your own rabbit dog we're Hello. gonna put tim pentecost address and phone number up on the screen at the end of the show so get your pencil and paper Hello. 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 the show drop me a line and let me know about it i'll write you back if you'll write me Yeast rolls, those are my biscuits. Well, they can be called biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeast biscuits. Well, they look mighty good. Well, I hope they will be. Sure, you're dipping uh, the rabbit in, in milk and eggs. Yes, then you're putting it in your, in your flour, just like you would fried chicken. That's right. The only difference is you've had this in a pressure cooker and you've steamed the rabbit for how long? Uh, about 45 minutes. 45 minutes just to tenderize it. Just to tenderize it. Okay. It's completely done. All right. It's really completely done. Yeah, we want it completely done because... Uh, Don't want no raw rabbit. No. 
And that way, all you have to do is just uh, deep fry it until it's golden brown. Well, here's some of the finished product right here, and I'll tell you what, does that look delicious? It looks just like chicken, and, and you know, it's been a long time since I've had rabbit, but the last rabbit I had reminded me of fried chicken. Boy, I'll tell you, we're gonna have black-eyed peas, yeast rolls. Rice and gravy. Rice and gravy. I put some of the rabbit in the gravy. Oh, you did? Okay. Well, the food at Cedar Creek Lodge is one of the reasons the folks that come keep coming back, Sherry. Well, I tell you, I've eaten a lot of your meals and uh, been out all day deer hunting, a turkey hunting, a quail hunting. You need good food, and uh, you got it here. <laughs>